Hello, my name's Neil Jones. I help at the church at Sheepy. Does God have favourites, do you think? Are there certain people that God loves more than others? Are there some people that God could never love? Peter certainly thought, thought so. He had been born into a Jewish family, and so had Jesus. He thought that only Jews could be part of God's family. But he learns an important lesson in today's story. Let's start with the rat. We'll do it twice. Firstly, a bit more slowly and then we'll quicken up. Are you ready? Let's open the book. Let's take a look. Let's listen and see how good God can be. Oh, let's take a look. Let's open the book. And a bit quicker. Let's open the book. Let's take a look. Let's listen and see how good God can be. Oh, let's take a look. Let's open the book. Today's story is entitled God Has No Favourites. Cornelius was a Roman and very proud to be a Roman too. He was a centurion in charge of a hundred soldiers and when he wasn't busy being a soldier he liked nothing better than to sit down and eat a good meal. Ham, pork, prawns, lobster, eels, even a pheasant or pigeon. Yes, he enjoyed all kinds of food. I love my life, he would say. I love my food. I'm glad I'm a Roman, and I'm so glad I'm not a Jew. Peter was a Jew, and very proud to be a Jew. He was one of Jesus' special followers. And when Jesus had gone back to heaven, he'd been put in charge of telling people about Jesus. When he wasn't busy telling people about Jesus, he liked nothing better than to sit down and eat a good meal. He enjoyed all kinds of food, but not ham, pork, prawns, lobster or eels, or pheasant or pigeon. No, no. Other people could eat those things, but not Peter. He was a Jew, and Jews just didn't eat that kind of thing. I love my life, he would say. I love my food. I'm glad I'm a Jew, and I'm so glad I'm not a Roman. One day, Peter was waiting for his dinner. He began to pray. Sometimes he liked to pray with his eyes open. As he gazed up at the clouds, something strange began to happen. The clouds seemed to open right up. And what was this? What could he see? The biggest sheet Peter had ever seen was being lowered down by its four corners, right out of the clouds. His eyes nearly popped out of his head. Ham? Pork, prawns, lobster, eels, ugh. there were even lizards and snakes, all cooked and ready to eat. How odd, how very odd, thought Peter, as he stared. Something even stranger happened. A voice spoke to him. Come on, Peter, you're hungry, aren't you? Have a good dinner. Peter was horrified. I love my food. But I'm a Jew, and Jews don't eat that kind of thing. Peter watched the sheet float back up to heaven. But what was this? Even as he watched, the clouds parted again, and he saw the sheep return. Go ahead, Peter. Here's food. Enjoy your dinner. This time, Peter saw the angel. No, he said again. I'm a Jew, and Jews don't eat that kind of thing. It's unclean, you know. 
kind of dirty as he watched the sheep return to heaven. A third time the sheep came down. Peter was really confused. Now what? As the sheep came down for the last time, Peter stared at all that food. The angel spoke again. Peter, don't call anything God has made unclean. You are always picking and choosing, not only about what you will and won't eat, but, but who you will and won't talk to. Some men soon arrive some men will soon arrive to take you to see a Roman centurion called Cornelius. God has also talked to him. Peter was horrified yet again. A Roman? A Roman me? A Jew go into the house of a Roman? I'm a Jew and we just don't go into the houses of Romans. And he might be eating ham or pork. Or lobster or eels. He paused for a moment and closed his eyes. When he opened them again, the angel had gone. I think, said Peter slowly, I think that God is trying to tell me something. All this time I've been saying I'm glad I'm not a Roman, but love, God loves everyone in just the same way. He doesn't pick and choose like I've been doing. And at that very moment there was a loud knock at the door. It was the men, just as the angel had said. Peter went back with them to the house of Cornelius, and guess what? God had been speaking to Cornelius too. So Peter went into Cornelius's house. He met his family and ate a meal with them. Amazing! Peter, a Jew, went into the house of a Roman and ate his food. He told them all the good news about Jesus and how God loves and cares for all people. God made everything and everyone. We are all special to him. Everything, everyone, we are all special. All of us, declared Peter. And that's something we can all be glad about, smiled Cornelius, raising his glass in welcome to his newfound friend. Peter did learn an important lesson, didn't he? He thought only the Jews could be special to God, but he was wrong. Everyone is special to God, and anyone can be part of God's family. Close your eyes and think about your friends. Sometimes we pick and choose, don't we? We might invite our favourite people to be in our team or to come round for tea. We might only certain, let certain people play with us at break times. God isn't like that. He welcomes everyone and doesn't like it when people get left out. Now I'm going to say a prayer and if you want to make it your prayer, Say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that you don't have favourites. Please help us to be like that too, so that people we know don't get left out. Amen. Goodbye. <laughs>